Oh, it's Saturday morning again and we haven't finished our Nissan Frontier yet that's bulb cover replacement and we had one car right away in here in our garage this is 2008 Honda Accord and the complaint of this car uh, it idle uh, so high during uh, uh, the cold start or first start especially in the morning so the customer like uh, leave the car he, uh, last night then we're going to duplicate the issue today early morning so let's start this uh, car and let's see the uh, complaint let's confirm the complaint okay let's start the car oh, this is a pretty nice car look at that let's look luxury car okay so first start in the morning let's see the rpm oh yeah it's at uh 1500 rpm you see that 1500 well usually uh, car um, the rpm uh, goes uh, very high at early in the morning at the first start and then after a while it will go down but for this one let's see how long it will stay on uh, 1500 rpm because if that uh, high rpm will stay for at least uh, five minutes then there's something wrong with the uh, maybe there's a vacuum leak or but most likely this is about the somewhere in throttle body uh, we had this uh, if, if this is equipped with this uh, cold uh, idle air intake bulb but it's going down now it's not that bad though but anyway what we are going to do is probably check uh, hook up our scanner check the our data stream or our data for the long term on a short term a fuel trim and let's start from there then also let's check the IAC if it's uh, let's check the duty cycle if uh, we had that uh, data on our scanner okay let's do that so fast forward we don't have fault no there is but it's an ABS so it has nothing to do with the the engine so we're not gonna tackle that so ABS it has an ABS code uh, let's just finish uh, my scanner to full full scan it and then we'll go on a data stream so the car has been running for five minutes now and it's already on 1000 uh, rpm well um for me it's not really that bad but i might uh, recommend the uh, the customer so i'm just gonna clean the throttle body especially the ayak Because it seems like it's not really that bad look at at five uh, minutes let's say four or five minutes it's already on below thousand and I did check the engine it's pretty clean As you can see in here it's pretty clean look at let me open the door it's kind of 
dark in here yeah look at I did the preliminary uh, checkup for this and I don't see any vacuum hose that has been uh, damaged or eaten by rodents or pests because mostly here in Vancouver during cold season a lot of raccoon rats they stay on your uh, engine bay in the because it's warm and there's a big chance the you know uh, eat those uh, hoses in wire I've seen a couple of uh, car like that even uh, almost a uh, brand new car it was uh, in infested a raccoon uh, eat those wire and it causes a lot of problem uh, of their car but again seems like for me the car is really not that bad so I'm going to uh, call the customer. I will just gonna recommend him if he want to. I'm going to clean the uh, throttle body, especially the Ayak. But anyway, I'm gonna check the uh, fuel trim and I'll let you know. I'll show it to you later. Hold on. So I don't have the percentage for the long term in short term uh, fuel trim. Uh, I wanna know. I couldn't find any data for that uh, percentage of your uh, short term and long term. This is the only data that I got. But anyway, I already used my other scanner but I couldn't find it maybe it's not equipped with that or it's just that i don't have you know a better <laughs> scanner but anyway the idle is good now it's already at say 750 rpm that's let's say seven six minutes so again my plan is to just uh, clean the ayak or the total body of this uh, uh, car but again I'm still gonna uh, talk to the customer and let's see if he want to do that and I'll let you know okay uh, before uh, we go under the hood as usual I'm, I'm gonna give you uh, a quick um, illustration of how your idle air control bulb works so over here this is the old uh, design so this is your idle air control bulb so the, uh, let's say this is your uh, throttle body this is the pluffer so when you press when you press the the gas this will open so air will go in there but normally there is a bypass port which is this is the ayak so at cold start in the morning so this is normally open so there were like air coming in here and then air going in there so basically the more the air uh, the higher the rpm so you notice uh, on the uh, on the morning when you start the car the rpm uh, is a little bit higher it's at least uh, more than uh, 1000 rpm because of this and then when the coolant is warm after a few minutes this plunger in here will swell and then it will cover this it will block this so there's no more a bypass port in here so the only air will go on here on this flapper when you press the gas this will open so this will go out to your engine this will go to your air, air, air filter so basically this is your total body so all the uh, I mean like uh, not all uh, car are like this some some cars had a different design so I'm gonna show you some some uh, Ayak like the old Ayak see this see this is an Ayak see that so there is a, a plunger in there I don't know if you could see that right there 
so that will open up so the air will go uh, on the other side so that is uh, normally open and this is another I think this is an ECM controlled one there's also a couple in here this one this is also a ECM controlled I, I uh, idle air control bulb so basically your input is your coolant so on those uh, non ECM controlled if you don't have much coolant so this is always open so you will notice your RPM will go up because you have don't you don't have enough coolant or there is a blockage in here because your coolant makes this swell and it will make it will block this in order there, there will be only like a one-way uh, port in here there's no more bypass I hope you understand that and on the ECM also it has also a coolant in here but the difference is that I think there is a sensor somewhere and then it will read by the ECM and then the ECM will give a signal to open up I mean to close this one so same thing early in the morning this is normally open so air will go in here or will go in there so again the more the air the higher the rpm until when your your uh, car is warm the coolant will warm up and then there's a sense in here it will trigger your ecm and then this one will move into here and block this and then there's no more flow of air going in here only goes in here so i hope you could you understand that and there's also a couple like how to test it there's like a tall balls a ground and the signal so for this car uh, it seems like it's pretty much clean it's a 2008 Honda Accord so it seems like the IAC is located in there and it's the wiring is together with the throttle body so I'll, I will be showing you also a throttle body that has like a hold on so this is uh, a throttle body that the IAC and also the throttle body, electronic throttle body is uh, all in one. So as you can see in here, they're like two for six, uh, six wire. So three for the electronic uh, throttle body and uh, three for the IAC so we could we couldn't uh, service this one because actually this one you are not allowed to open it actually i did try to open this one this is rivet actually that's rivet but i changed it with look at this i replaced it with but it didn't work i didn't get uh, any success because i want to clean this up but then it's pretty clean actually i thought there's a gunk in there but it's not so same thing in here so i couldn't like uh clean this one because they are also two in one so the throttle electronic throttle body in the ayak are together so there's no way i could clean it so the only thing that i can do right now is to relearn it using my scanner so that's uh, what we are going to do but at least guys uh, you have an idea of uh, how IAC works so if you have an, uh, an, an high RPM that is stay very long especially on the morning after 15 minutes the uh, RPM is still high first check your coolant because your coolant uh, is the input this make uh, this plunger to close same thing in here even though this is uh, electronic control 
this coolant still your input okay so now let's try to relearn this using my scanner okay i'm using my launch scanner so engine on don't start it so let's go and reset so see that electronic throttle we learn it's okay let's wait uh, this is Honda Honda ignition on okay 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 ECM PCM throttle learning this learning equip will reset that it will need to clean the total body at the same time if reset okay do you want to reset yes stop the engine please ensure the gear shape is in neutral okay let's put it on neutral set the parking brake parking brake okay and then press okay tipular has been cleared clean the total body reverse if not some okay please ensure the gear shape is in neutral set the parking stop the engine okay the ECM must be reset and I've heard something uh, on the ECM so okay on some vehicle after ECM is reset the idle may be low or erratic until ECM learned the proper idle I see learn of course blow engine for 10 minutes okay okay that's it now let's start the car let's see if it goes still high It says there, um, run it for 10 minutes. So let's wait for 10 minutes. So the idol is already below. 1000 so let's turn off the car and start it again I think the car is all good now so I also did check the coolant and we have plenty of coolant and then the hoses that goes to the throttle body for the coolant is already hot so I think there's no problem with this car actually so we just do some relearn but it seems like yeah if you put your steering wheel move it the high rpm goes up a little bit and but I think that's normal though because it's giving uh, additional load the power steering pump will engage and then your belt is connected to your uh, harmonic balancer and then it will give you know additional load to your car so your ECM will give you know extra RPM extra gas so I think everything is normal so there you go that's that's how you uh, diagnose a a car that has a high rpm during cold start uh, you did uh, check also my my illustration about the ayak if ever your rpm will not gonna go down after like uh, five five minutes but for this one it's already below a thousand eh, which is already uh, normal so if you had uh, any question about this uh, any suggestion uh, comment down below and consider also like uh, and subscribe my channel that's all for today and see you on my next video bye bye